it's Jazz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're one of my 40 subscribers. Thank you so much for sticking around. You mean the world to me. So I figured why not do a little bit of a get to know me tag today. I've done a couple videos now and I thought I'd share a bit more about myself and do a little get to know me. So I've got some questions here. I've got some just I looked up from a get to know me like tag or other people's videos. But then I asked my followers on Instagram as well to ask me some questions. So I've got a bit of a mix of both. So We'll get into it. So the first question I've got is how old are you? So I am 19 and it feels weird because I was always young for my year. So I've always felt like I'm 17. Like for the last three years, I felt like I'm 17 because I was 17 for what felt like so long because I was 17 when all my friends were 18. So I couldn't really go out and I couldn't really, I mean, I did, but I wasn't meant to. So I'm 19, but feel like a little youngy still. The next question I've got is what is your zodiac sign? So I'm an Aries and I often find this kind of weird because Aries are meant to be like really confident and everything and I reckon if you get to know me I'm confident but I can be really shy as well so I don't know about my star sign. The next question, question three I've got is what are you studying? Um, this one was asked a lot on my Instagram. I just changed degrees this year. I did arts last year, but I just found it really general and like I had no idea what I was meant to be doing. So I changed to a public health degree because I've always wanted to help people in some way. So I figured why not do public health? I really liked health and human development when I was in school. So I thought maybe it'll be a bit like that. I like it so far. I can't really tell to be honest because it's all online. So I'm kind of just doing the bare minimum because online uni sucks. So I reckon I get a better idea when I go back next year. But yes, I'm doing public health. I'm actually doing a double degree still. So I'm doing Bachelor of Arts, majoring in social media, and then um, public health in health promotion. So it's like a four year degree, I think. So that'll be fun. <laughs> um, the next question I've got is, what is your favorite food? Now, if you've watched my previous videos, I reckon you've heard me talk about food a lot because I love food. I'm literally just getting excited thinking about it. <laughs> I've had my three basic favorite foods for a while and I'm gonna have to stick with it. I'd say my three favorite foods are pasta, like any type of pasta is so good, so yum. Cheese, all types of cheese. You got tasty, you got your brie, you got your daffinoir. Oh, daffinoir is gonna be the best. Um, and then potatoes, oh my God. All together to like a gnocchi, cheesy pasta. I'm a happy gal. So the next question I've got is, what inspired you to make a YouTube channel? So this was one of the questions that was asked on my Instagram, which I thought was nice. So I've wanted to make a YouTube channel for years now. I know it sounds like such a cliche or whatever, but I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel, but I've always just been too scared about what other people would think and just too nervous to do it. And I finally thought, you know what, who cares if it makes me happy and hopefully makes like one other person happy or entertaining, then I'm gonna do it. So yeah, this year I figured nothing else can really go wrong this year. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a hard year. So I figured why not do something I've always wanted to do for ages. And the next one I've got, which is also a question from Instagram is what is your plan with your YouTube channel? So this one, I'm still figuring out myself. Um, I'd love to be able to film more like vlogs and like little getaways and that kind of stuff. But obviously we're still in lockdown. So hopefully when lockdown ends, I can do some more fun vlogs and that kind of stuff. But for the moment, it's gonna be just more like me doing challenge videos, lifestyle, that kind of stuff, because I can't really go out much. I'm planning on posting every week. I'm gonna try to stick to it. Also, I want to start a YouTube channel because I love watching YouTube. I find it so fun, like compared to TV, because it's like real people and you get an insight into their life and stuff like that. So I figured, why not make one? Just backtracking a bit there. <laughs> the next question I've got was from Instagram as well. It was, what have your workouts look like in isolation? So prior to isolation, I was going to the gym. I had a gym membership and I was doing probably three classes a week and then just my own stuff as well. So that kind of sucked going into ISO because I absolutely love going to gym classes because whenever I can't be bothered and I get really like unmotivated, if you just book a class, you know you're paying for it. So I don't know, just find them so much more motivating. But in isolation, I've signed up to Keep It Cleaner, which is Steph Clay Smith and Laura Henshaw's workout and like healthy recipes and 
fitness app. They kind of take you through workouts. There's heaps of different versions. Their new update's really good because they've got heaps and heaps of workouts. So I've signed up to that. So I've just been doing them in the mornings. I've been going on lots of runs recently, which has been fun, only in my 5Ks, of course. <laughs> but yeah, so just doing like online virtual workouts and runs and we don't really have much equipment. So just doing what I can when I can. And I'm very excited to go back to the gym because I really miss all my classes so much. Um, so the next question I've got is, what is your favorite color? So. For so long, like I reckon for my whole childhood when people would ask me this, I would say orange. And I really like the color orange, but I think I just said orange because I didn't want to say pink and be like that classic girly girl. But I reckon my favorite color is actually pink. I really like orange too. And my old room inside is like the whole wall is painted orange. <laughs> it's actually crazy. But when the sun comes in, it looks so nice. But yeah, I reckon pink is my favorite color. Um, the next question I've got is, what is your favorite sport? So my favorite sport, I reckon, I played, this is the thing, when you're in school, you play so many sports. It was so much fun. I played so many sports. And now like after school, it's so hard to play sport because you played them all for school and now it's like, who do you play for? Like, I don't know. So I reckon my favorite sport would be netball though. Netball, maybe tennis, and then winter skiing. I'm. This year I'm so sad because we didn't get to go to the ski season because of lockdown and like it means I haven't skied in over a year and it's just so sad. So I'm really looking forward to next winter if we can go skiing. Hopefully that's open because I love to ski. Um, and then a question I got on my Instagram was where do you get your jewelry from? So I thought I'd answer this one. So I got this necklace from, I think it's called Miss Susie. Um, I'll tag it in the description below. It's just got my little J on it, which is really nice. Um, I got this ring for my birthday. It's so pretty. I got it from Amber Skeets. I'll tag it below as well. It was on sale when I got it, so it was a really good price, but it's so pretty. Um, and then these rings, I'm not sure I got them ages ago. And then these two little rings I got from um, GMS Silver, which is a little Australian brand, which is really nice. I'll tag below as well. And then these earrings. I got these from Wrapped, which is just a little jewelry shop. I'll see if I've got a website, I'm not sure. I'll tag them below. But yeah, that was a nice question. I love wearing jewelry and I'm trying to transition at the moment, as you can see from this ring, from like silver to gold, but every single other ring I have is in silver. So I really need to, like, it's gonna be hard to move from silver to gold because it's gonna be expensive, but we'll get there. But the next one I've got is your favorite TV show or movie. So. My favorite movie would be 10 Things I Hate About You. It is such a cute rom-com, which are my favorites. Um, yeah, no, it's the best. And Heath Ledger is so hot. Um, and my favorite TV show, I can have a couple. Gossip Girl, all-time classic. I reckon I've seen each season about four times. Um, I really like Gilmore Girls too. It's a really nice chilled vibe and like, it always just makes me happy. Um, and then I really liked like a recent one I've watched is The Bold Type on Stan. It is so good. It's so um, like topical and of the moment. It's really relatable. It just has so many important issues and everything it addresses, but like it's still a really good watch as well. So I definitely recommend The Bold Type. Next question I've got is your pet peeves. Wow, okay. So I have a couple. My biggest pet peeve, it's like not really a pet peeve, it's kind of like a more like a bigger thing, is like when people say they're gonna do something and then they don't like letting letting you down or like disappointing you. That would be like my biggest pet peeve or like turn off or I don't know what you really call that. But like little ones would be people walk really slow in front of you or like loud chewers, that kind of stuff, just not a vibe. The next question I've got is, are you a night owl or a morning person? So anybody who knows me knows I am absolutely not a night owl. I am like a grandma, I get so tired. Like I'm literally that person that leaves the club at like midnight because that's late for me. Um, but I do like waking up early and getting things done in the morning. So I'm definitely a morning person and not a night owl at all. And then the next question I've got is, do you speak another language? Now I saw this one and thought I'd have to put it in because I did French all the way through until year 12 in school and it was it was a lot. Look, it was, I'm happy I did it. I am, like in hindsight, looking back on it now, I'm happy I did it at the time. I can't say I was happy, but I'm happy I did it. Um, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Languages just don't really click in my head for me. Like 
And it was the kind of thing where I didn't listen in the early years, like year seven, year eight, year nine, I didn't listen. So when it got to year 12, they were like, how do you not know your year seven verbs? And I'm like, no one told me how to listen to year seven. I was just on my iPad playing Candy Crush. Like, <laughs> So French was a struggle, but yeah, I did learn it for like six years. So I still remember a couple things. <laughs> and then the last question I've got is, do you have any pets? So. I had a rabbit called Peter um, when I was about 15, I reckon. And we had him for like three years and we went to America overseas. We had a family friend looking after him. And when we came back, he told us Peter had run away, which was so sad. He was dad's like best friend because it was the only other boy in the house. And dad would like literally sit out and talk to him. But in saying this, I wanted a dog for so long and I almost, almost got one at the start of lockdown. I was so close to getting one. I still got emails every single day from breeders because I've signed up to get notifications for all new dogs that are available. Um, and I definitely will get a dog, but just not at the moment because I can barely look after myself let alone a little puppy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely would love a dog one day. So that is all the questions I have. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other questions for me, just leave them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram, which my link is in the description. And thank you so much for the support. If you could like and subscribe, it means so much to me. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good week. Bye.